Hello, everyone. Welcome. And today we'll be doing an aerial class with restorative yoga. So the swing here is a really beautiful tool to help us elongate our spine even more and really help us to sink into our bodies and really allow our bodies to melt away and let it, as I said, restore. So to begin with this practice, it's going to be a lot more about focusing on your breath, focusing on relaxation, and really just letting everything in your body go. So as we go through each pose, we're going to hold the pose a little bit longer. And when we hold this pose, it really allows the body to start melting away, really allows the body to start relaxing in this pose. And in each asana that we are in, there's a specific movement that will help the body to open even more and to really restore the spine, especially is what we're working on here. Now, I want you to begin to, by taking the swing and bringing it down very, very low. So it should be right just above your ankle. And you can see here, this is my ankle and it's just above my ankle. You can even have it lower, but I would not have it any higher than this. And the swing will really help to lift our spine, lift ourselves in certain ways so that it, it will help to release the spine. So again, making sure that it's quite low here. Next, we'll start with the swing folded in half. Okay, so just fold it over one time. As for your mat, we'll be having to move the mat around quite a bit just because with the swing, the way that the swing moves and the way that the swing will be able to pull on our bodies will need a lot of extra space. So you can have one mat down or if you have two mats, I would place two mats um, the long way to have really a lot of space here with the mat. Um, so go ahead, if you have two mats, then I would pause the video and go grab them. All right, and next thing that we'll be needing today is a block. And if you don't have a block, feel free to use whatever is around your house. I've used, you know, two or three books that are stacked. I've used another cushion, a pillow. Um, I've also used another yoga mat that's rolled up. You can be really creative with this, but anything that has just about a few inches um, and ranging from height. So maybe if you have books, I would have maybe from three to six or seven books. And that way we have different heights that we can work with. Okay, so let's get started and in coming into our first pose. So with the swing um, folded in half, we'll just come through here and just sit into the swing. And bringing our knees bent with our legs underneath us. And finding a really nice, comfortable position. You can spread the knees quite wide. You can keep them a little bit hips distance, wherever you find comfort here. And just leaning yourself back on to the back of the swing leaving the hands face up on the thighs and go ahead and close your eyes here and just find yourself relaxing. And I invite you to bring the awareness to your breath in this moment. Where is your breath at today? Is it shallow or is it deep? Is it long? Is it short? Is it quick or is it slow? Just bringing the awareness with no judgment And I invite you to begin to elongate your breaths. 
making the inhale a little bit longer, the exhale a little bit longer. Seeing if you can straighten the spine a little bit more. Relaxing the shoulders a little bit more. And if you would like, slowly leaning your head forward, resting your forehead on the front of the swing, elongating the back of the neck. And connecting back in with your breath. And I invite you while we're in this pose to bring your awareness to your root. And your root being the space between your genitals and your anus. The very center at the bottom, connected to that swing, lifted from the ground, opening in that space. Breathing in all the way down to the root. Exhaling, expanding that root. Into the root. Expanding the root. And continuing at your own pace. Breathing in through the nose out through the nose. Allowing everything in your body to melt. As you feel the swing between your legs. Relaxing in that space.
And slowly coming back to your body. Slowly lifting your head, leaning your head on the back of the swing. Take your hands holding on to the front of the swing and slowly shifting your weight to one side so that you can bring the legs around to the front of you. And opening up the legs nice and wide here. And then leaning back into the swing. You can even leave the hands hanging down the sides. And really rolling the shoulders up, back, and down, relaxing those shoulders. And allow yourself to melt into the swing. If you would like, you can take this front of the swing, press a little forward, slide your hips a little bit forward here. And then you'll be able to feel more of the swing on your back. Really allow yourself to melt into this. And if your arms feel weird dangling or they start feeling uncomfortable, feel free to rest them on your legs. And again, bringing the awareness to our root. And bringing your awareness and focus, very slight focus, to the space between your root and the ground. Just bringing your awareness to that space and breathing into that space. And I invite you to part your lips and breathe through the mouth. It is through the mouth that we get so much more oxygen, so much more life force coming in through our system, and so much more release as we exhale through the mouth. And the more oxygen that we have, the more breath that we do, the more our body relaxes. Opening the throat to really allow more air to flow through. And slowly blinking the eyes open, holding on to the swing very slightly in the front of the swing, bending the knees here. And we'll just take a few moments. You can just sway from side to side, making these nice little half circles. Just bending one knee, getting a little movement in our joint, enjoying the swing. Enjoying the swaying. Very nice. And then slowly coming back to center. We'll be coming out of the swing now. So holding on to the front of the swing. I'm just going to walk my feet back a little bit. So I have a little bit more height here before I slowly pull myself up. Very nice. Now, I'm going to come and I'm going to pull my mat all the way back so that the edge of the mat is right underneath the swing. Now, if you're very tall, you can even pull it a little bit further back. And from here, I'm going to open the swing and fold it into thirds. So fold it into the middle and then fold it over one more time, making this nice little belt here. 
And we'll be starting with our feet. We'll be elongating our body from foot to head. So first, I will place my feet, both feet, into the swing. And I want to have it so that my ankles are nice and tucked in. So it's not that my feet are in the swing over here. This way, they're going to slip out. But I'm going to put all the way through, making sure that I have my ankles in. Now, from here, I'm going to just place my hands on the mat and slowly lift and scoot back. Lift and scoot back until I'm about this height. And the beautiful thing about this restorative is you can play with the height of the swing and so you can kind of shift yourself back and forth until you find that really comfortable sweet spot. So from here, I'm going to just lay down onto my back. And if I feel I'm still not quite there yet, still not quite comfortable or, or I want a little bit more of a stretch, I'll just scoot back even further. As I am moving back, I'm noticing that my mat is not pulled back far enough. So I'll just pull it back a little bit more. Replace my feet. And come into here. I want to feel a nice little tug on my feet from the swing when I'm laying down. And this way, the swing is pulling my feet down towards the bottoms of my feet, and that way elongating my legs here, elongating my spine. I'm laying here, relaxing the back, making sure that my lower back is on the ground, so I don't want to have this arch here, right? I want to just relax, press the pelvis, tuck the pelvis in, bringing my arms out wide, and at first, we can just do a little bit of swaying from side to side. Loosening the hips here. And then coming into center, relaxing the legs and just letting the legs rest in the swing as the swing does the work for you. Now, if you would like, you can lift the shoulders, tuck the shoulder blades underneath just a little bit to bring the chest up, opening the heart. And once you've found your comfortable spot, just opening and relaxing the body. Connecting back in with your breath. Parting the lips, breathing in and out of the mouth. Feel with each exhale your body relaxing a little bit more, letting go of any tension in your feet, in your toes, in your legs, in your knees.
you start noticing that you're breathing through the nose again, bringing awareness to breathing through the mouth. And slowly coming back to your body, bending your knees. And you can make these nice little circles with your legs. Careful to not let the legs slip out of the swing. I'm just giving some movement to your hips here. And then spinning around in the other direction. And then coming back to center, bringing the hands now overhead, bringing the hands over to the right side as we bring our legs over to the right side as well, coming into this nice crescent shape. You want to make sure though that both shoulder blades stay on the ground. So we're not lifting over and bringing one shoulder off the ground, but we're leaving both shoulders on the ground, just bringing the arms over, just bringing the legs over, making a nice banana. Opening on the left side of our body here. And you can feel free to turn your head to look at the right side. And you'll feel a little bit of an activation on the right side of your body where you're crunching to, in order to open up the left side. And I want you to try to relax in that space. And again, keep breathing through the mouth. Getting all that oxygen into the left side of the body. Allowing the swing to pull the legs ever so slightly creating space on the right side of the body. And slowly coming back to center. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. The left, the legs go to the left and right. And then slowly bringing the legs over to the left side, arms over to the left side. Feel free to adjust here, making sure that both your shoulder blades stay on the ground. Both your hips stay on the ground and squared. We're not lifting either hip. We're not lifting the shoulder. We're just making this nice moon shape on the ground. And again, breathing through the mouth, allowing the body to relax. Feel free to close the eyes, keeping your head turned towards the left. Just allowing your body to melt. If 
if you find yourself yawning that is perfectly perfectly acceptable as this is the process of getting our bodies into relaxation getting our bodies to open into spaciousness And then slowly coming back to center here, turn the legs from side to side. And then bringing the arms out to the sides, nice, making a nice T shape here. Taking one foot out of the swing, taking actually your right foot out of the swing Turn your right knee over to the left side, coming into a twist here. And feel free to turn the left foot in the swing, keeping both shoulders down. And if you want, you can take your left hand, place it on your right knee for a little bit more support. You can bring it underneath your right knee. If you have that block, you can place the block underneath your right knee. And then looking over your right shoulder. Coming into a nice twist here. Finding your comfortable spot. Maybe that swing pulls your left leg back just a little bit more. Creating a little more space. A little bit deeper of a twist. And taking a deep breath in through the mouth. Exhale everything out. <sighs> One more time. Deep inhale through the mouth. Big sigh as you exhale. And in this pose, allowing yourself to melt. If you feel any tension in any part of your body, breathe into that space. Bringing the breath in, bringing that openness and exhaling the tension out from that space. Keeping awareness in your body. Can you feel the shift in your body as it's relaxing? Where is the body being stretched? Where is this twist helping you to detoxify? And slowly to come out of the twist, take your left hand, support that right knee, bringing that right knee back up, squeezing it into your chest. Give it a little squeeze, a little love. 
And then bringing that right foot back into the swing to meet your left foot. And bringing the left foot out this time, bringing that left knee up, then twisting it over to the right side, looking over your left hand. And again, if you would like, take the block, bring it underneath your left knee. Or you can use your right hand to support your left knee. Find your comfortable spot. Maybe that right foot gets pulled back a little bit more by the swing. And once you've found that spot, take a deep breath in through your mouth. Let out a big sigh. <sighs> and one more time, deep breath into the mouth. Big exhale out. And just allow yourself to melt into this twist. Can you relax even more? Is there any place in your body that you're holding tension? Breathe the air into that space to open it up. And then slowly releasing that left knee. Take your right hand, assist your left knee up, bringing it into your chest, giving it a little squeeze, a little love, extending the, that left foot back into the swing. Now, bending your knees, looking up, bringing the swing to your hands. Go ahead and grab the swing with your hands and then taking the hands, wrapping it around the other side. So you can hold onto the swing, your feet are planted on the ground. Slowly tuck your chin into your chest and slowly roll yourself on up. Beautiful. Now, coming into moving with our hips, I'm going to just move my mat now so that the swing is in the center of the mat. And coming in now with our hips, okay? So coming through the swing, I want to place the swing around my hip bones here, not up here on the stomach, but right around the hip bone. So I can even actually just place them there as I slowly come down onto the ground. And if I'm uncomfortable right now, I'll just place one hand in the center and my knees on the ground, lift and just adjust the swing here. Okay, and now that it's nice and comfortable, I will slowly walk myself a little bit forward. I notice I'm off my mat now. So if I want to move my mat, I just bring my knees nice and wide, bring my mat up. From here, opening my knees nice and wide and just slowly bringing my chest down to the mat. And I can keep my head looking forward 
that will crimp my neck. So I'm going to go ahead, grab my block here, and just place my head on my block. And I'll have my elbows on the ground. I'm just allowing myself to rest here. Now, if I want a little bit more, so before studying into this pose, I can actually come a little bit more forward. And what's happening is the swing is pulling my hips towards my feet, elongating my spine up here. I can also, if I choose, to just relax my head to one side and bring my arms down to the side. Go ahead in this position, whichever head position you've chosen, it's perfectly all right. Making sure though that you're comfortable, making sure though that the spine is straight. And just melting away, allowing the chest to melt into the ground. Really allowing yourself to melt into this position. This is a position that many babies sleep in. So of memories from childhood, of softness comes into your mind, allow yourself to melt into that. And then slowly extending the legs. This may cause a little more pain on your hips. So feel free to just shift the swing a little bit, a little lower, maybe right below your hip bones. Keeping the legs extended, turn your head to face the other way. And if your head is on the block, Feel free to stay here. Again, letting your chest just melt into the ground. As the swing does the work for us in elongating the spine.
Now slowly coming back, bringing your hands onto the ground, dropping the knees again onto the ground, coming up onto all fours. We'll turn, bringing our right hip into the swing. Okay, making sure that we're underneath the swing directly. Slowly bringing the hands down, the right hand down to the ground, resting your head onto that arm. Making sure that you feel comfortable and balanced here. Slowly bringing your left leg up towards the top of the swing and resting the foot along the strap. And if you feel that you're slipping out, feel free, go ahead, bring the leg back down, adjust the swing, and coming back. And you can take your hand, your left hand, rest it behind that left leg, in between the leg and the swing, or you can bring it in front of you onto the ground. Making sure to point your right toe. And you'll feel a nice opening here on the right side of the body. Closing your eyes if you would like. Taking a deep breath in through the mouth, out through the mouth. Again, deep inhale through the mouth. Let out a big sigh as you exhale. And again, if you feel any tension that's being held in your body, breathe the air into that space, opening up and exhaling the tension from that space. Remembering to breathe through the mouth. We have such a habit closing our mouths, such a habit of just breathing through the nose. And in that habit, we close ourselves off to more air. We close ourselves off to the life force around us. Circulating and recirculating our own air, just like our own thoughts. So we open our mouth to just release everything out, everything that no longer serves us. And then slowly coming out of this pose, holding on to the back of the swing for support with your left hand, bring that leg back down and we'll just turn our hips in the swing. And you can plant both feet on the ground now, lifting your hips a little bit, 
to readjust and allow the swing to be just around your hips. And you can even sway from side to side, shaking the knees from side to side, finding this sweet spot. Now you'll notice my hips are directly underneath the bar here. So I'm going to actually kind of worm myself between my shoulders and my feet up towards my head direction. And this way, the swing is pulling my hips down towards my feet. And relaxing here with the feet on the ground. Now, if you feel like there's too much tension, feel free to come out for a moment, which means lifting the hips up, pushing the swing down towards the feet. Coming out, I'm actually going to fold my swing just in half instead of in thirds. And again, to come back in, laying on the ground, bringing the feet through, grabbing onto the swing now, lifting my hips and sliding the swing underneath my hips. Much better. And allowing the swing to pull my hips towards my feet. The arms are relaxed by the sides. If you would like, tucking the shoulders underneath just a little bit to raise the chest, opening the heart here. And then from here, taking the right foot, placing the right foot onto the left thigh. And deep breath in through the mouth, out through the mouth. Again, in through the mouth, big sigh as you exhale. And allowing yourself to melt into this pose. And then slowly taking that right foot, placing it back on the ground. We'll actually bring that right foot back up towards the strap of the swing, placing that right foot against this right strap and extending the left leg. Opening on the left side here, on the front of the left side.
and then slowly bringing that right foot back down to the ground. Let's bring the left foot on top of the right thigh, dropping that left knee over to the left side. If you would like, tucking the shoulders underneath a little more, opening up the chest here, really breathing into the front side of the body. And from here, lifting that left leg up towards the strap, resting it on the clo inside of the strap as you extend your right leg. And then breathing into the front side of the body, let out a big exhale. And melt. And then slowly bringing that left leg back down, planting both feet on the ground now. Adjusting the swing just a little bit higher to make sure that the sacrum is fully covered. Sliding back towards the middle so that most of my back is on the ground now. Slowly bringing left foot up, hooking over onto the side that's closest to me. And then slowly bringing the right foot up, hooking on the inside and bringing my feet together. Now this is our inverted bound angle just on the floor, really nice restorative pose. If you feel as though the swing is going and digging into your legs, feel free, open the swing a little more and coming back up. Just straighten the legs a little bit more you'll find that there's less pressure there. And feel free in this moment to play with where you want the swing to be. You can be directly underneath the swing, or if you would like, just kind of walking yourself a little bit towards your head direction. And you'll find a little bit more of a pull. And again, feel free to tuck a little bit of the shoulders underneath opening the chest here and sway from side to side. Give yourself a little rocking motion. Nothing too big, just a natural rocking.
And a reminder to breathe through the mouth. Opening and relaxation even more. Allowing the swing to rock you. The soft little lullaby. And then slowly coming out, we'll just take one foot out at a time, placing one foot firmly on the ground before releasing the other foot. And now rolling onto our left side. So we're making a full circle here, turning onto the left side, placing that left arm on, on the ground, placing our left, our head on our left hand. If you find that you're not quite comfortable coming back up, adjusting the swing to go underneath your hip. Your right hand can go either on the ground or behind you. Then lifting that right leg up towards the front of the swing, resting it on the strap. Again, breathing through the mouth. And then slowly bringing that right leg down Coming back up, taking your right hand to support yourself back up and coming out of the swing. Beautiful, coming into our next phase where the swing will support our chest. Now with our knee, on our knees, with our swing, we'll be placing the chest around, Ugh. Coming now with our swing, walking forward here, and then placing the swing around our chest. And for some women, this might be a little bit painful. I would recommend then opening the swing up till its full widest um, width. And from here, slowly coming down onto all fours, walking the legs back here, and then lifting ourselves up. Now, if you're feeling some pinching here, I would even recommend going even further. So you want the swing to be quite into the armpits here. And if it's still uncomfortable, try a readjusting, folding the swing into thirds maybe and making it a nice little strap so that it's just right around here. You can actually quite rest your chin comfortably. So I'm going to fold my swing into thirds. Okay, walking forward. The swing is right here by my armpits. And I'm allowing my arms to be straight out. I'm allowing my chest to fall and my head to be tucked. My chin is tucked down.
And again, breathing through the mouth, opening up the chest here. And then slowly coming out, planting our hands underneath our shoulders, lift the hips coming up onto all fours. Okay, now moving our mat again. So I will just go ahead and pull the mat out this way, just like I had at the beginning. Now coming back to my swing, I will turn and face in the other way so that my back is faced away from the swing bringing my swing through like a backpack, slowly leaning back, bringing my feet forward. From here, just walking myself a little bit away from the swing towards my feet direction, making sure that the swing is comfortably behind my shoulder blades, bringing my hands interlaced behind my head and just allowing myself to relax. Dropping here to open up the shoulder blades, open up the neck, open up the chest. And taking a deep breath here in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then in through the mouth, big exhale as you let go. <sighs> Again, really remembering to breathe in and out of the mouth, especially in this pose, as our chest is so open our lungs are being lifted to the sky. Breathe that air into your body. Breathe that life force into your heart. And slowly using your hands to lift your head, tucking the chin in, we'll come into our final pose. So holding on to the swing first, to lift yourself up and you can open the swing fully now opening up the swing fully laying down onto the back finding the swing now placing the head into the swing comfortably so that it's right at the nape of your neck from here, slowly inching and worming your way towards your feet. And you don't want to go so far so that the swing is going to make your head slip out, but just a little bit. Finding your comfortable spot here, allowing your head to rest in the swing, bring the arms out to the side, bring the feet out to the side. and really allowing the swing to be doing the work for you, pulling your neck, elongating the top of your spine, taking a deep breath in through the mouth, big exhale. Another big inhale through the mouth, let out a big sigh as you exhale. Mm. 
Really allow yourself to relax everything in your body. And slowly coming back, taking your hands, holding on to the swing to release your head, pushing that swing back until your head is nice and rested on the ground. Releasing the swing, bringing the hands to the sides, coming into our final Shavasana. Tucking the shoulder blades in just a little to raise the chest. Big, deep inhale through the mouth. Let everything out. <sighs> One more time. Big breath into the chest, into the belly, into the root. And sigh. Let everything out. <sighs> Allowing our spine to come back to neutral. Keeping our minds clear. slowly coming back to wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers, moving your ankles and your wrists. Bring the hands overhead, stretching the body, opening up, waking up the body, tucking the knees in towards the chest, giving yourself a little love squeeze as you roll over onto the right side into a nice fetal position. Keeping the eyes closed whenever you're ready, slowly sitting up. Coming into a cross-legged position. Hands to heart center. Bringing love and gratitude to your body. Thanking yourself for being here in this moment. Resting, relaxing, and opening yourself up to healing, to not pushing yourself but allowing yourself to rest and allowing the swing to help you. Allowing 
the life force of air, of oxygen, of light, of love to come into your system. To bring you into a greater state of relaxation and peace. Letting go of what no longer serves you. Thank you for being with me in this practice today. May the light within me see the light, love, beauty, and truth within you. Namaste. Thank you so much, and I wish you a beautiful, blessed, blissful day.